in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Lord, give it to you. And, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the light of life. Amen. Let us pray. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns to be in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman the army commander of the king of Aram was highly esteemed and respected by his master, for through him the Lord had brought victory to Aram. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Arameans had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet of Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord. Just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel, he brought a letter which read, With this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a God with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king, Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot, and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus, the Abana, and the Farpar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this, he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do as he said. So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to our sound, A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? 
As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Then will I go into the altar of God the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I hope in the Lord, I trust in his word. With him there is kindness and redemption. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zebrata, in the land of Sidon. Again, there was many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet, neither one of them was cleansed, but Nama the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill, on which their town had appeared. To hurl him down the hill, but he passed through the midst of them and went away. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In ancient times, God sent the prophets primar primarily to the covenant people of Israel. But at some times, the prophets were also sent to the Gentiles, those not of the covenant. When the prophets, the kings, and judges did not bring the reconciliation to all creation with God, he sent his son. Jesus came for the salvation of all, and he charged his disciples to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. That is our mission as well for the saved. United as uh, the body of Christ, we offer our petitions to God our Father, that the Church may continue to be purified and sanctified through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all the ends of the earth may know the saving the power of God, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That the grace of the God's word and the sacraments may transform all of us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us pray for special attention for heaven and prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all the faithful departed may rest in eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Merciful Father, you sent your Son to save us. Look with favor on our petition. We now offer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you from the earth and over human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness we have received. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our God within the Bible, his holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, then, is a token of our service. Be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And with your spirit, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give the thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is very right and just, our good and our salvation, always and ever to be the thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for a new world that our servant and I should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate in your kindness, and so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise we are praying. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in the glory of Lord, the Father of all holiness. May glory is there for this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time it was betrayed and entered very into his passion to bread, and giving a then he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when Zappos sent the feet to the chalice, and once more giving a thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in number of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving a thanks that we have heard us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. 
I'm going to pray that for taking from the body and blood of Christ to make his daughter and his one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread that throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with crowns of gold and great salvation and gold of clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome and thank you for life in your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who St. Joseph and Moses is spouse, with the blessed Apostles, who St. Jacob, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with your life, and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and him and him. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> The 
the Bible study. 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 Thanks be to God. 